we started the unit by calculating simple probability and simple probability is when you roll a dice. Um, we're going to get into to, uh, the next lesson, not this one, but compound probability. And that's when you do two things. And so what we're going to, or more things, like a compound sentence. Um, so what we're, I'm going to do is help you create the sample spaces. So remember when we did rolling a dice, we had to do um, write one, two, three, four, five, six, because those were the possible outcomes. So your objective is to draw a tree diagram and use the basic counting principle to find out the total number of outcomes in a situation. So remember when we were doing yes over total, Today we are only going to work on establishing how to figure out the total. A compound event consists of two or more simple events. A tree diagram and the basic counting principle can be used to find the sample space for two or more events. Counting principle, you'll hear it called the fundamental counting principle, states that if there are p ways to do one thing, and q ways to do another thing, then there are p times q ways to do both things. So in this lesson, I'm going to um, ask you to find the total by creating a tree diagram. I'm also going to ask you to find the total by using the fundamental counting principle. Two things. Here's your example. It's Monday morning and Taylor is getting ready for school. She has four shirts. A red, a yellow, a green, and a pink, and two pairs of pants, jeans or leggings, okay, to get through the week. How many different outfits can she cre create? So I am going to do my shirts, and I'm going to do red, yellow, green, and pink. And if, if I wear my red shirt, I can wear my jeans or my leggings, my jeans or my leggings, my jeans or my leggings, my jeans or my leggings. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to count down this last branch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there are eight possible outcomes. And this is called a tree diagram because I can have red with jeans or red with leggings. I can have yellow with jeans or yellow with leggings, green with jeans, green with leggings, pink with jeans, pink with leggings. This is called a sample space. It's listing all of my outcomes. And so this is a tree diagram. This is your sample space. And the basic fundamental or fundamental counting principle says if I have P, which is four shirts, times two pants gives me eight possible outfits. Notice I have eight possible outcomes or eight possible outfits. This is used in ordering sandwiches, ordering meals, ordering three sides. Speaking of which, Marie is ordering breakfast. She has the choice of a main course, pancakes, waffles, pancake, waffles, or eggs. Sorry, I forgot the comma. Sides of bacon or sausage. A drink of milk or juice. Draw a tea diagram to figure out how many different breakfast combinations Marie can order. You can either do it vertically or horizontally. So I'm going to do pancakes, waffles, or eggs. And if I do pancakes, I can either have bacon or sausage. And if I have bacon and pancakes and bacon, I can have milk or juice. Pancakes sausage, milk, or juice, waffles and bacon, waffles and sausages, bacon's milk, or juice, waffles, sausages, milk, or juice, 
eggs. I can have bacon or sausage, milk or juice, milk or juice. So notice each time it's branching out. That's why it's called a tree. To find your total possible, you count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. Use the counting. Oh, make a tree diagram. Did. 12 outcomes. Use the counting principle. Three main times two sides times two drinks equals three times two is six, six times two is 12 outcomes. I do them in order just because I am used to doing it up in order. What is the probability that Maria, oh, here's my sample space. Okay, hold on, here's my sample space. I can do pancakes, bacon, and milk. I can do pancakes, uh, bacon, and juice. Pancakes, bacon, and milk. Pancakes, bacon, and juice. Pancakes, sausage, and milk. Oops, comma goes there. Pancakes, sausage, and juice. Took care of that. Waffles, bacon, and milk. Waffles, bacon, and juice. Waffles, sausage, and milk. Waffles, sausage, and juice. Eggs, bacon, and milk. Eggs, bacon, and juice. Eggs, sausage, and milk. Eggs, sausage, and juice. And notice I do it very systematically. What is the probability orders bacon? Uh, what? Hold on. Pancakes, bacon, and juice. So I'm looking for a pancake, pancake, bacon. Mm. There's a pancake, bacon, and juice. One. That's my yes. Total is 12. So today you are going to be asked to draw tree diagrams and possibly um, calculate the pop probability. In your tree diagrams, you can either do them horizontally, make sure you do the branches, make sure you are able to uh, draw out your sample space after you're done, or you can do it uh, vertically and you can reach out, okay? Um, And then be sure you are familiar with how to calculate the number of outcomes using the basic counting principle.